write a SQL query to report the type of each node in a tree. Each node can be one of three types, leaf, root, or inner. For those of you who aren't already familiar with Exponent, Exponent helps you get your dream tech career with our online courses, expert coaching, peer-to-peer -peer mock interviewing platform, and interview question database. Check it out at tryexponent.com. Cool, yeah. So um, we have it here as tree node table. Tree node table. And right here we see basically we have two columns, ID and PID. Um, and yeah, so from there, I would like to ask a few clarifying questions, maybe just one main clarifying question. And that's just basically about the inner. So an inner could just basically be not the root, but a parent, but also a child, correct? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, and basically what I'm trying to do is identify each ID based on the definition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, if you give me a second, I'll maybe think about how I'm going to attack this. A few techniques in mind. Um, but then, yeah, then I'll get started. Okay, sounds good. Cool. So yeah, I'm thinking of just using a simple case statement um, to define each of these um, IDs respectively. So we can do a case when um, PID like right here is null, then root, right? And then yes. And just to clarify here, a PID means parent ID, right? Yeah, yeah, parent ID to, yeah, the mm -hmm. node, basically. Um, so, yeah, that makes sense. And then when, um, I think I'm now going to define an inner. So when the PID is, I'm making a subquery here, um, select ID in the ID column from the tree node table. Um, and when the ID is in the tree node table of the PID column. Oops. Then it would be an inner, right? Does that make sense? Yes. And PID is in that. Cool. Um, in, and just checking my syntax here. Okay, so they're both. Okay, and then uh, else, it's a leaf. Um, and then I want to end this and maybe call this column no types. Um, so from here, I, just to be safe, I'm going to order it by the ID. Um, and I just want to see if it'll work. So, oops. Cool. So, um, this does seem to be correct. So the ID would be the, the number one ID would be the root because it, it was no. Um, mm -hmm. And three, four, and five would be leaves because they all three of them have parents. Mm -hmm. um, and the inner would be number two um, as it's a parent and a leaf as, at the same time, making it an inner. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and can you also describe to me in words like, uh, like, which which one of these nodes was like the child of which node? Just so we can get a better picture of what the tree actually looks like. Yeah, so um, the root being one, the number two node um, was a child to the number one node. Okay. And the number, the number three node was also a child to the number one node. But the number two node had two other children or leaves basically. Um, mm -hmm. And that was four, four and five. Okay, yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay, great. Um, so let's try to place this in like a real world scenario instead. So let's say that this tree actually corresponds to an employee directory where um, the ch so each node corresponds to one employee and then the children node of a node are basically the reports of that particular employee and the IDs are basically the employee IDs. So mm -hmm. let's assume that like you have this one table that describes like the employee directory, right? But the actual employee information, like the names of the employees um, and their uh, 
um, like salaries or um, types of jobs, um, types of positions are actually stored in a separate table uh, that also has the employee ID as a key. So how would you then, um, uh, basically, let's say that you're given like a specific um, employee, how would you write like the query that determines uh, all of the contractors um, names that are the reports of a specific employee? Cool. Yeah, got it. Let me just really quickly comment this out. Mm -hmm. Cool. So um, I think it would be cool to show the employee table so I have a better understanding um, of what I'm looking for. And just to be clear, you wanted the title slash so just the full names of all of the contractors that are the reports of a particular employee. Cool. Um, uh, so the output would be first, as well as title slash position being contractor. Um, oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. And um, also, um, just because like our employee directory tells us like specifically the relationships, I'd like to, like let's say I give you a specific employee ID. I want you to find only the ones uh, the contractors who are the reports of that employee. Okay, who are the who are the reports of that employee? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, so from here, just looking at the employee directory, um, you can see here there's like two contractors. Cool. Um, okay. Got it. So, okay. So what I understand is, so, so you want the, um, the, okay. So let's say that there's these two con contractors. Um, you want their full names, basically. Uh, yeah. So long as they are um, the reports of a specific, let's say, I think it's employee number two, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, one way we could find this is through joining. Okay. On um, so this name is E or yeah, and you know, the table T, and then E would be employee ID, correct? Uh, yeah. E dot employee underscore ID, which is equal to um, T dot ID. And what we're looking for is basically the ID of like so EID. Mm -hmm. Sorry, T dot ID. Um, e dot first underscore name, and then T or sorry, E dot underscore name. Um, and so they have to be yeah okay. Um, yeah. How do you correct? Right. Um, okay, to check my syntax, T from the team, pre node table, E from the first and last name, um, joining on the employee ID from the employee table, right? And then T from the tree node table. Yeah, and cool. also their manager is employee number two. Right. Um, and then E dot manager ID. Um, Um, yeah, so here we have the respective IDs. It's John Snow and Patrick Starr, and they're both under contractor. We can even just put title here to make that known, maybe right here. Mm -hmm. Title like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they're both contractors, John Snow and Patrick Starr, and their manager is number has a manager ID number two. Uh-huh, okay, perfect. So a couple of quick follow-up questions on this. Um, so I've noticed then that um, in the original table, the tree table, you yeah. have this like parent ID, right? Which represents mm -hmm. the manager ID. And then mm -hmm. in the employee table, you also have the manager ID field. So yeah. I'm wondering, do you still need both of these columns? Um, good question. There's a PID. Technically, no, they're both representative of the same thing, just both within different columns, uh, between different tables. 
Yep. Yeah. And since you're like doing this join query anyway, so you can easily just pull the manager ID from the PID column in the um, tree table. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Great. So I think this is a great place to pause. Um, I thought you did a fantastic job in this interview, and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what do you think went well, and what do you think you could improve upon? Thanks. Yeah, I think one thing right off the bat that I could have improved upon was just optimizing my query. So maybe using this first one, finding the answer, and then meaning defining each node as a root inner leaf, and then using it as a subquery, because at the end of the day, we're basically just pulling from this ID as the primary key. And like we talked about last time, I could have just added the PID as well. And we could have joined from either or. Mm -hmm. um, and then use it as a subquery um, and pull that TID right here, um, uh, or even connect the manager ID to that. And it would just gone through once basically without okay. even having to use a join. So yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, and so I'm also wondering, uh, is there a way that you can maybe add an index to one of the tables to make this query even faster? Right, um, in terms of indexing in the where clause here, I could have also just done an equal sign and taken out this wildcard to basically only tell the query or the MySQL machine just to look for the title contractor within our employee um, table, which would have been quicker, yeah. So then which column are you doing the index on? Um, it would be in the title column. Okay, perfect. Great. Thanks so much. And I had similar thoughts, actually. Um, I really like that at the beginning of the interview, you explained first, like, what are the, in words, like, what are the characteristics that make an inner node so that it has to have parents and children? Because that makes the question a lot more clear before you dived into coding. Um, and yeah, I really like that you also um, explained thoroughly, like, what exactly the join does. Um, and then you, like, demo showed in the actual table, like, which columns that you're pulling out. Um, I think... Yeah, so aside from what we had just talked about, like optimizing the query, it can also be helpful sometimes to just explain, like, uh, if you have a column named like PID, like, what does that mean exactly? And um, there are different types of joins too, right? So here, um, the default is like an inner join, right? So you did an mm -hmm. inner join. Um, and sometimes it can be helpful to explain, like, why did you choose an inner join instead of like left or right, for example? So yeah, I totally agree. Those little syntactical nuances are really important, especially when you're pulling from bunch of different tables yeah just to show off like your knowledge of sql you know yeah um, okay great thanks so much for being here with us today christopher um i think we learned a lot from you and that was um, a really cool question to get to see you answer okay thanks everybody for watching thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to let us know that this video is valuable for you and of course check out hundreds more videos just like this at tryexponent.com Thanks for watching and good luck on your upcoming interview.